Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2023. I know, it's 2023 already. I know I've already posted a video this year, but that was last year's video. This is the first video of this year. But I thought we would start off the year with a little get ready with me with a little difference. So while I'm getting ready, I will be talking you through the 23 things that I want to do in 2023. Realistic version. I'm not lying to myself. I've got real things on the list. But I'm not gonna bore you too much. We are gonna jump straight into the video. I hope you do enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe and enjoy. Okay, let's get into it. So I've dried my hair, I've washed it. I've 90% dried it. It's pinned up at the minute up here to like try and dry it backwards. It's about 90% dry. I feel like this is very bright but it's the best I can do because I need to see what I'm doing. Okay, so first step of makeup is, what's this called? Primer, that's what it's called. <laughs> oh, also before I start, I wanna know, I know I've got these like marks on my lips. If you watched any of the vlogmas, you know I had two coleslaws and they've like changed the color <laughs> of my skin. So I'm, I'm aware that they're there, so please don't tell me, I know. It'll get covered up, it's fine. But first step of makeup is always primer and I use the poor, poor professional one, poor professional one in the Hydrate Primer. Never used to do primer, but now I do. And I honestly don't really see a difference, but I do it. I hope for the best. That can go that side, because I know I've done it then. Okay, so. Let's get into the list then, shall we? So the list that we're gonna talk about, if I've not already introed it, is the 23 things I would like to do in 2023. First thing on the list is to work out two to four times a week and possibly include it in some vlogs. I need to pin this bit of hair away, it's annoying me. Um, yeah, so at the minute I, I work out, but not that often. I enjoy it to an extent and I never show it in videos but I think I'm gonna start because I know it motivates me when I watch other people's vlogs and they work out so I think I'm gonna start showing it a little bit more in the vlogs so primers on we are doing the skin tint in the beauty blender light one okay and following on from number one we have a hair in my face. You know when you can see a hair? There it is. It's still there. Pull it out. <laughs> Don't think you should do that. So foundation is done. Concealer of choice is the KVD in the Light 103. If that focuses. There we go. And again, I'm running out of this one. But I put it under the eyes. Quite heavy. Don't come at me. And then I put a little bit here because I have a lot of redness. I should specify as well, not makeup artist. Don't know what I'm doing. Learn everything that I'm doing over the years on the internet. And then a new thing that I'm gonna try, first time trying this, is the Fenty Beauty contour stick, match stick. And <laughs> I'm quite scared to do this. I'm gonna stay around there. So why I try and blend this in, since I have no idea what I'm doing. Number two on the list is eat more healthy in terms of diet. So my diet isn't too bad, but I only eat maybe one good meal a day on a good day. So my plan is to start eating ideally three meals a day, smaller meals, I don't know why, I just don't ever get hungry enough to eat three meals a day. And I never really enjoy eating breakfast because it's too early. I don't like eating as soon as I wake up. I find it too much. So yeah, that's the plan as well. I feel like that stick just did not to me. I think I've just blended it into the beauty blender. I definitely need to learn how to do that properly. Okay, number three on the list is finish one book this year. So as... Ooh. 
as we're aware, I do read my book. I read my Kindle and I enjoy reading it. But I'm such a slow reader. It's actually embarrassing how slow I am at reading. I don't know why. I, well, I do know why. It's because if I don't concentrate, I don't read what's on the page. I hope that makes sense. I know I'm not the only one that does that. So yeah, my plan is to hopefully finish one book this year. It takes me so long to read a book. It doesn't help that I pick the longest books possible. But yeah. Number four on the list, I am currently gonna powder my face. I'm using the Revolution Translucent Powder. And when I can get it. Oh, I put all my makeup brushes in a food bag. So they don't dirty the inside of my makeup bag. So yeah, my travel hack. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I use the Laura Mercier powder puff thingy. Number four on the list is visit the Eiffel Tower. I've been to Paris with work multiple, multiple times. But I've never actually been into Paris. Or like into France, to be fair. So I would like to go. And I think that's because I've watched Emily in Paris a little bit too much. I now want to go. Do you know what I will say? It's because when we go with work, we stay so far away from like the city centre. It's just like after working all night, you just don't want to go and sit on a train for an hour. But I might have to. Why did I start this video out with the batteries dying? Right, let me go and change the battery, finish my base and my eyebrows, and we will be back. We're back. We have eyebrows as well. Remember, eyebrows are distant cousins around here. They are not twins. They are not sisters. They are not even first cousins. I'm in the process of getting them fixed. <laughs> okay, it's fine. But what I try and use to fix them is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number three, I think it is. Yep, number three. If it focuses, that one. And then the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel in the clear it is this one. So that's what I've just done. I've dusted off the excess powder and now it is time for number five on the list. And number five on my list is be more of a yes girl with this emoji. My problem is I say no to a lot of things, whether it be with YouTube, a personal life, going out on layovers sometimes. I'm like, no, I'll just stay in. That is changing this year. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna drag my butt out, I'm gonna say yes to more things that scare me, and just enjoy life, because why not? It's my life, no one else lives it, apart from me. I think now I'm gonna put some shape in my face, so as we are aware around here, if you have watched any of my makeup videos before, I use eyeshadow as contour, blush, uh, not blush, bronzer. So I use the Omega eyeshadow from MAC, this one. And I'm desperately in need of a new one. I was supposed to pick it up in Times Square, but nope, it's too busy. And uh, all my brushes, actually, I've never not actually said, are the Real Technique ones. Okay, number six on the list is get a nighttime routine. I am probably the only girl you will ever meet who doesn't <laughs> really care. So I don't really cleanse that much i don't use a thousand and one products for a night routine i literally take my makeup off with the is it garnier micellar water and some cotton pads and that's it you, i yeah you're lucky if i scrub my face that's when i'm in the shower that's the only time i actually scrub my face so yes i'm in need of looking after my face a little bit i am getting a little bit older in life Lines are starting to show. If you can't see them, I definitely can. Yes, that is the plan as well. Like moisturize after every bath or shower. It's very rare that I do that. This year, up to now, it's like what three days in, four days in, three days in, and I've done it. Let's see how long that lasts. Um, like yeah, just little things like that. Moisturize my hands more. Just look after myself. That sounds like the easiest thing in the world to do, but sometimes it's just not. Just trying to blend this in because I can't see this cheek because you're you're there. I think I've put too much on. Let me just blend it out a little bit. Oh, turn the light back on. Let's 
gonna go really bright for a minute, there we go. Okay, while I keep blending that in, number seven, this is where they start getting a little bit like random, but this list is also like very realistic. I'm not gonna put it on the list that I wanna be married by March. Like, do you know what I mean? These are realistic things that I think I can do by the end of 2023. So, number seven on the list is a weekend away on my own. I live in Dubai. It is like so central to so many cool countries. And even down the road an hour, there's so many nice places to go to. So yes, I'm gonna go on a little weekend away on my own to a nice five star hotel, all inclusive obviously, and live my life because why not? If you can't look after yourself, no one else- Ah, that went in my eye. That was like such a cool moment and I just ruined it by stabbing myself in the eye. If you can't look after yourself, no one else is gonna be able to. I've got powder in my eye now. I wanna put more on because I'm going out for like evening drinks and it is a little bit early to, to be doing my makeup. But I also wanted to film this video so that's why I'm putting a lot on because I know it's gonna fade. So number eight on the list is solo coffee dates. Solo coffee dates because as we are aware, I've said this many of times, being crew can be lonely sometimes, especially because I live on my own. I have my own company a lot while I'm in the house. So what's stopping me from taking my laptop, going to edit a video down the street in a coffee shop? I'm surrounded by coffee shops, but I never do. So that is another one for this year, to just get out, go edit a video outside, instead of on the bed or on the sofa. So let's see if I can do that. These are mainly for like, to get me out of my own comfort zone as well, because I know I can do them. But there's something inside of me that goes, no, Sophie, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Who's stopping me? Me. That's the only person that's stopping me doing this. I think I've done enough contour to give me life. You might not be able to see it because it's quite bright from what I can see there. In life, it's, it's good. Okay. Uh, blusher of choice is always to benefit California. It's still going strong, people. I do spray a little bit of the Fix Plus in when it dries up a little bit, like today. And then I use a brush. So, what was that? That was number eight. So number nine is hike a mountain in Hatta. Hatta is a place, it's, in, it's one of the Emirates, I think. Or it's in one of the Emirates. Ooh. Is it an Emirate or is it in one of the Emirates? I'm gonna have to fact check that. Either way, it's a place not that far away from me, with beautiful mountains and sceneries and a lovely place where people go and hike. Not a, not a crazy hike, it's like beginner level hike. Nice day, that type of stuff. And you just go for a walk up the mountain. So I want to do that because I've been here for nearly seven and a half years, never done it. And I want to. So that's on the list. Number 10 is to try some new foods. I am a very picky eater, and I'm also a strange eater, I'm a texture eater. I hope that makes sense, yeah. So I only like things with like certain textures, I don't like slimy things. Um, fun fact, I don't like prawns or shrimps or anything shellfish like, so oysters. I won't eat raw salmon, but I'll eat cooked salmon. I, what else, I'll eat raw peppers but I won't eat cooked peppers because I like the chewy, the, the crunchiness but I don't like the sogginess. Uh, what else is there? I'll eat sweet corn if it's with like tuna sweet corn bake but I won't just eat sweet corn. That's the gist of my eating habits. I want to try more like international foods since again I'm, I live in Dubai and I can get every type of cuisine delivered to me, so why am I not trying them? If I don't like it, I just put it in the bin or give it to security or someone will eat it. Uh, number 11 is I want to go to a drive-in movie. Have you ever been to a drive-in movie? I've always wanted to go. I think it was because when I was younger, I used to be obsessed, I still am obsessed with watching Grease, and they go to a drive-in movie and I've always wondered like what it'd be like and if it was like that, like with all the cars and your little vendors, it's definitely Americanized Greece. I know that. 
don't come at me. But I've always wanted to go out and I've never done a driving movie. I have done a movie on the beach, which is pretty cool. I assume it's something similar. You're just in a car, there's a big screen and you all watch it. What am I doing now? I'm gonna attempt to start my eyes. Oh, I put my blusher across like here. I always do my nose as well. I'm gonna put more on. I'm gonna put more blusher on. Um, number 12, we are nearly halfway. Well, we're just, yeah, middle point. Finished two jigsaws, thousand pieces. So on the 1st of this year, 1st of January, I cracked open my jigsaw and I've started it. And I've got two of them, I've got two of them for Christmas from my sister. And I wanted to complete both of them by the end of the year. It is annoying that it's on my table, but I've left the um, table cover, tablecloth, on top so you can't see it when I'm not using it. So yeah, one of them is Marvel, I'll be surprised. And one of them is Harry Potter, I'll be surprised. So yeah. I'll keep you updated on how they go. Right, I think that is enough blush now. Now you can see it, so that means there is enough blush. Now it's time for eyes. Eyes, we have two palettes. This is my work palette. Um, it's the Rose Tinted Barium Eyeshadow Palette. This one, I use this for work because it's small enough to keep in my makeup bag. And then I have the Subculture Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills one. This one. I like the browns in this one. So yes, I'm going to do my eyes while we carry on our chat. I'm basically just doing my work look. Just a little bit more fancy. Uh, number 13 is Picnic in the Desert. This is where they start getting a little bit interesting and a little bit fun. I've never had a picnic in Dubai. I've not even had a picnic on the beach. I should do that as well. So I want to go for a picnic in the desert. I want to do a lot of things in the desert actually. You will see in a moment. Yeah, there's a few in there. Uh, yes, I want to go and have a picnic in the desert, escape from the world, turn your phone off and just you in the sand and hopefully remember how to get home. Yeah, how do people, that, like, <laughs> obviously people do, but how do people not get lost in the desert? Because once you go off road, you're just off road and there's no signal out there in some places. Because every time I've done a safari, you lose service. I know I'm covering my face, but is this really a makeup tutorial or am I just talking to you? <laughs> I put this all over the, the lids and then I'll go in and attempt to make it look pretty. Again, not a makeup artist. I just do what feels right. Yeah. Okay, number 14 and number 15 go pretty much hand in hand. So I want to go watch the sunset on the beach because that's the way it's set. And then I want to go watch the sunrise in the desert because you can see it that way. I'm in the middle basically, so we're, which way do I face right now? I face, that's the desert. That way is the beach. So I can kind of see the sun's rise, but buildings are in the way. Um, but I'd love to go and sit in the desert when it's dark and experience the whole thing. And the same on the beach. You, bottle of water, some fruit, and just watch the day end. And know that you're going to wake up tomorrow and it's going to be a brand new day. We are slowly getting through this list. I need to crack on with my makeup. What else are we going to do with my eyes? What else can we do with my eyes? I want to put some darkness in the corner. Do I have a brush for that? Yes, I do. Hey. Oh, do you want to know a fun story? Fun fact. It's not a story, it's a fact. This is my good eye. So when I close it, my vision is not the best. So this eye is definitely not gonna look as good as that other one. <laughs> Why is this so stressful? Do they look the same? You can't really give me an answer. Mm, let's put this one. And then I'm gonna take a bit of sparkle and stick it on the rest of it cover up any of my mistakes. This is so close to my face. I'm so, I'm trying to like look in the mirror. So hi, welcome to my personal space. Number 16 on the list is, I wanna go on a wheel. That sounds so strange, but I wanna either go on the London Eye, but how is that so weird? The London Eye, 
or is it the Alain eye? Alain wheel? The one in Dubai. I think that's the biggest in the world. So I would like to go on that one and it is on my doorstep. But I want to go on it for like a special occasion or like when my family are over. But yes, if not, I want to go to London and I want to go on the, the London eye because I've never been on it. Number 17 is find a new hobby that doesn't involve having to film it. I want to find something that I can do in my spare time, the very limited spare time I do have, and enjoy something. So, what are your hobbies? Let me know your hobbies, because I need to find one. Number 18 is to get back into watching football. So, <laughs> sounds so strange, but because of the World Cup, I kind of fell back in love with watching it. So when I came to Dubai, I stopped watching it completely. Never watched any of it after I came here because nobody had watched it with me. But do you know what? I'm gonna watch it because I enjoy it. So I'm gonna get back into it after seven and a half years. There's a lot that I've missed out on there. Um, before I finish my eyes, I'm gonna put some blush on, uh, contour on, barely dressed from MAC. It's like a four square one. Uh, number 19 is one second a day. So I've started this, I found this app. Well, no, actually that's a lie. My sister sent me an app and you take a snippet of each day of your life and you put it all in this app and by the end of the year you'll have a video which is one second of your life every day. So I think that'll be really interesting because of all the places that I'm going to visit it'll be nice to actually see it all put together like at the end of the year hopefully I remember to do it. If not you can go back and add stuff. Put some in the inner corner uh, number 20, we're in the 20s, is I want to be able to walk five miles, which is roughly eight kilometers in less than two hours. And I say walk because I am not a runner. I would like to become a runner, according to my next one. But yes, I want to be able to do that in less than two hours. The average is one hour 40. So I think it should be okay. And number 21 is to be able to run five miles in less than an hour. So just under eight kilometers in less than an hour. Will that be possible? Will I do that? Who knows? Who knows? I'm just putting some uh, highlight in my eyes. I think it makes your eyes look a bit more alive and awake. Eyeliner of choice is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Colour Pencil in one graphite. This one. Trusty Faithful. Trusty Faithful. And the mascara is... I'm having a bad time with some mascara, you know. I'm not going to lie. I've just got the benefit. They're a real magnet one. This one. And for Christmas, my mum and dad got me like a MAC set. And it has the MAC Magic Extension Mascara. So I'm going to combine these two. Let me put this on and then we will go over the last two points on my list. How good is that mascara? That's off one coat of the Benefit one. Wow. Okay. I think I like that. Mascara is complete and the last two points are a little bit selfish. They are social media related. So number 22 is I would like to hit 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yesterday I hit 7,000 7, and honestly I was so excited. You know what, you don't actually realise that little number makes so much of a difference. Like the views and everything, it's so nice to, and like, do you know what? I always read and reply to everyone's comments. It might be late, but I always try. And you do start noticing the same names and it's really nice. Thank you. If you ever watch and comment, and if you don't comment, it's fine because I'm a little silent watcher as well. I watch so many people on YouTube and I have never commented on a video. I, I like it, but I never comment, yeah. So don't worry if you don't comment, I know you're still there. And then I would like to hit 10,000 on Instagram. I think I'm on 7,000 on Instagram. But Instagram is such a slow burner. And I don't put any effort into it. But I think I'm going to change that this year. So yes, that is my 23 things I want to do in 2023. 
while getting ready. So now all I need to do is take out my hair, zhuzh it up a bit, get dressed and head out the door. I am a little early because I started pretty early so I'd have enough time to film this and in case my makeup went wrong I could fix it but I will catch you, well for you, in a second but for me in a little while. I'm gonna go get dressed, finish my hairs and my teeth, put my lipstick on and I will see you before I head out the door. I'm back. It's a little bit later. I'm dressed. I have this brown dress on. My, I think it's guess belt. Um, it's like a little... I'll show you in a minute. But the lipstick of choice tonight is Sephora number 13. It is the trusty faithful that I use all the time. This is the lipstick, lip stain should I say, that I will go to forever and always. It's my favourite. So, let me put this on. I'm done, I'm ready. That's gonna drop into my bag. So yes, I am done, I'm ready to go out. This is the new hair, if you've not seen it actually done properly. It's very short, very curly. That's it. <laughs> it's all chopped off. It's still um, got a mind of its own. So I've got a bag full of clips and bubbles just in case it gets a little bit too much, a little bit too out of control. So yeah, because the front bit, these bits, fall forward. Like they want to be a fringe, but I don't want a fringe. I'm not about the fringe life. But apparently my hair wants to be. We are headed for a ladies night down in JBR. So I wasn't planning on taking this with me, but if I have any footage, I will insert it now. You call me closer, but don't waste your time. Don't have any time for I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!